Hello everybody, welcome to Red Tool House. Today is a nice frosty morning. I've got my spotter here, there in the, uh, in the side by side, that's Cam. Cam and I are working today and we are going to, we're going to see how many trees we can get on the ground and skid it down to the mill for um, a big mill project. I've got a huge cut list. I've got a lot of milling that needs to be done. And it's getting to be that time of year where, as you can see, the leaves or off the trees, which is beautiful, and it makes it nice to cut wood, but it also is a point where things get wetter. Things don't dry out as fast. So when we have rain, roads turn to mud, and it makes it tough to skid logs, especially going up the side of the mountain to get logs. Uh, and of course, it makes the logs really, really muddy. So we want to try to get as many trees down and staged prior to the real wet hitting. Uh, here in November it's not super soaking wet, but the end of November it will get really wet and damp and things just won't dry out. And as uh, I was just explaining to Cam, like a dummy, it seems like in the cooler months we work on the shady side. So this is the south ridge behind me. So the south ridge is north facing and it's in the shade. If you look over here, that's the north ridge south facing and it's 8 a.m. and it's already nice and sunny and warm over there but that's not where the trees are that i want <laughs> the, all the trees i want are on this side so we're going to start here keep spinning around make everybody sick we're going to start here and we're going to cut some pine some virginia pine we got a lot to cut all right so the goal today is to put down we're going to fell i want to get six or seven good sized virginia pines um it's like pointing at needles in a stack of needles, but there's a there's a there's three clustered right here that we're going to take down, and there's three or four more just you know, 50 yards that way. We're at a uh, a bench. I call it a bench. It's a little area. Actually, I pile my construction uh, su surplus here. Old bricks and telephone poles and that type of stuff. House and barn are that way. The rest of the valley is this way. I'll show it on the map. We're going to put these guys on the ground. So Cam's going to help me as I, uh, as I fell them. We're going to cut them into logs. We're going to hook them up to the tractor, drag them down, and then come back and just fell, fell one at a time. I don't want all seven of them on the ground because um, it'll kind of congest areas here. We're going to leave the tops in the woods for now. Uh, we'll drag those out probably in a month or so. We'll drag those out when they've had a chance to dry out. And with all that pine, we'll probably put it in the chipper and, and really make some nice pine wood chips.
All right, so the next pine is uh, this Virginia pine right here, and he's a little bit bigger than that first one. I got three nice saw logs out of that first one. Last log wasn't that big around, but so this one is 16 and a half inches. All right, so in eyeballing my spot where I want to drop, I want to put this tree right down there. Just have it kiss off this little poplar, fall right down. But come check this out. Come a little closer, Ken. So looking at my spot, I thought, what in the world is this sticking up? I believe it is the remnants of an engine block. Yeah. <laughs> Show is. Yeah, there's a valve out of something. One, two, three, four, five, six, so four, four cylinder, a little four cylinder there, maybe. Yes, four cylinder. Never know what you find on the farm. Let's see if that's aluminum. It's awfully light. That could have some recycle money to it. All right, back to work. I believe in being ready. Oh, believe in being ready. I believe in being ready. For oh, the time is doing me. Oh, sinners do get ready. Alrighty, so that one ended up right where we wanted it to. So there's two 22 foot logs in that. I've already cut 22 right there where that dead stump's sticking up. And then you can see the face of that all the way down there. That's the second 22. A little bit of a fish belly right here, but my logs, I need 10 footers and eight footers. So I can probably get more material out of an eight footer if I cut right through the middle of this fish belly. Cause there's definitely eight feet of good lumber there in that butt log. And then the, um, then that would leave, um, what would that leave, Troy? That would leave <laughs> 14 feet left. Genius. Um, which we could figure out how to cut that up. Um, we may have some waste there. We'll see. That's uh, to be determined once we get to the mill. So now it's time to skid these two guys down. All right, so our next pine, I believe, is going to be this big boy here. And he is right on the edge of our road. There's our road going up the valley. We were just cutting right over there. In fact, that's the, some of the canopy we opened up where we took those two down. Take this guy, and we'll actually we'll drop him uphill. So I want him to go this way. And I think I can pull him off the hill much easier than I can pull him out of this little wash. Because I want to pull and go that way, and all these poplars are going to make that a pivot issue. Got a pretty good grapevine growing in this. We're going to have to cut out. And as usual, there's a beach growing around it. So we'll take the beach out as well.
All right, teenagers finally paying off. Woohoo! Does he have young kids? This is this is where the payoff happens. Sure, they're fun and cute and fun to be around when they're little, but this is where you actually get your return on investment when they're old enough to drive equipment and move stuff. <laughs> Hopefully, I won't run them off and they'll move out when they turn 18. <laughs> A little to the left, buddy, a little to the left. Now look, keep that right tire right in that rut. What? Keep that right tire in that little ditch, that rut. So, right steering wheel, there you go. A little bit more, a little bit more. Come on back, come on back, come on back. All right, stop, stop. Drop the box blade. Yep, all the way. Two, two. monster I think this one's going to uh, get us way more than we expected as far as material goes this big old Virginia pine you can see the the, the stump up there we're uh, behind cam so he's sitting on my first 30 or I think I cut that 28 feet long because right behind him you can see that branch that's uh, that's something we're going to cut out so we're going to take a four foot section out of that maybe a little bit more and discard that but uh, that thing is massive and then of course where he's sitting down to down to me he is another 24 feet down to that cut right there so uh, this one I'm not going to be able to skid uh, two buys on my <laughs> on my tractor because this is way much more wood I get a lot of lumber out of this turkey but it's interesting this this tree uh, this is where you always say so the, the people that complain about uh, deforestation and all that this tree was at the end of its life cycle uh, that branch behind Camlin is dead and rotting um, you can see here the way the top broke out of this thing it was really starting to get weak and you can see where the woodpeckers have been going to town on it so they've been uh, they've been laying into it pretty good there's a lot right through here so uh, this one was probably destined to die and fall across my road anyway. <laughs> so we're gonna turn it into timber. All right, so Cam and I, what time is it Cam? It's a little afternoon, right? Just a little over four hours, we got four trees on the ground uh, all pine and uh, some of these are 22 foot lengths here so as we talked about one needing 10 foot and 8 foot so if I count these as two three five seven oh, totally just ripped my well that sucks <laughs> start that again two three five seven really big number eight and then 10, 11, 12, 13, and a huge 14. This thing's the monster. It's everything I can do to get this thing down. Man, I just totally ripped the uh, buckle off my <laughs> chaps. <laughs> I guess that's better than ripping the bottom out of your pants. All right, so that is a full log yard. And I believe that's going to get what we need for our cut list. So it could rain... Um, buckets it could snow and i could still work here on the flat ground doing the milling that i need to do so um, a little preparedness there hopefully that uh, pays off dividends well stick around people we're gonna start making sawdust
But until next time, take care.